Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Ha, ah, it's so good to be on today. Um, I bring you greetings from Kingdom Movement Church. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate you being here. Amen. I, I don't take it for granted. Amen. I appreciate you uh, tuning in. I appreciate all my followers. I appreciate my friends. I just appreciate everybody. I bring you, I also want to say uh, I thank God for my assistant pastor, Pastor Deborah Wright, and Kingdom Movement Church. I love you guys. Um, I miss being in the church. See, I put my little beads on today. I wanted to feel a little churchy today. Amen. But I just thank the Lord for you on this beautiful, wonderful Sunday morning. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God is so good. Amen. I hope that everyone is staying safe. I hope that you're still wearing your mask washing your hands, and social distance. Amen. That is so important right now in this season. The numbers are still rising. Amen. But we are praying that this coronavirus leave our land. Amen. I'm praying that God heals the land. Amen. God is able to heal the land. Hallelujah. I want to go in prayer because there's a word today. Amen. Father God, we thank you. We give you praise. We honor you, Lord. You're worthy of the praise. You're worthy of the honor. And you're worthy of all the glory. I pray, God, that I will decrease and you will increase through me, Lord God. I pray, God, for all of your listeners, Lord God, that they will receive the word of God, that deliverance and healing and salvation will take place on today. And, Lord, we thank you for the word. We pray, God, that you continue to heal this land. Heal the land, Lord God. We pray, God, that you will come in and have your way. Move by your spirit, God. Move by your power. Satan, we bind up every devil. We bind up the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. You get away from our children. You get away from our house. You give a, get away from our grandchildren. Get away from our families in the name of Jesus. Lord, those that are suffering with the coronavirus, God, I pray a special healing over their body by his stripes, by the blood of Jesus. We are already healed. God, you can do it. You can do exceedingly abundant above all we can ever ask or even think. If it's your will, then your will will be done. And Lord, we thank you. We give you praise for this, for church this morning. This We just ask God that you will bless your people. Bless your people in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's go into the word. <clears throat> There's a couple of things that has been in my spirit today. Amen. And I want to talk to everyone as much as possible about it. I want to talk to you about, uh, and my, my subject would be, it's time for the church to grow up. It's time for the church to grow up. Amen. Amen. Um, and, and, you know, my subtotal is we need to make better choices. Amen. Make better choices. Amen. So I, in my thoughts, I was thinking, you know, we need to grow up spiritually. Oh, yeah. Some of us have been in church for 10, 15, 20 years, and you still act like a baby in the spirit. Amen. Murmuring and complaining about everything. Amen. You listen, we got to learn how to stop murmuring and complaining and pray about it. Give it to the Lord. Amen. Talk to God about it. Amen. We got to pray. Hallelujah. We got to pray about that thing. Stop murmuring and complaining. Amen. I talked about forgiveness just on last week. We have to forgive. We have to let some things go. We got to let go and let God. We really got to let go and let God. The church got to grow up in the spirit. We got to grow up in the spirit. Listen, we need to make um, different decisions and choice. The choices and decisions that we make, that's what I'm trying to say. The choices and decisions that we make, you know, we can eat thereof. So. If you make a choice to run the red light, hallelujah, run the red light, amen, you can either hit somebody else and have a bad wreck, or you can get a big bad ticket, amen. We have to make choices, 
amen, according to the will of God. We need to make better choices, amen, period, amen. You know, if we grow up in the spirit, you won't just jump into something. You won't just do things because your flesh said do it, amen. You will think about it, you will pray about it, and you, you know, you got to think about that thing. You got to pray about that thing. You can't just jump and do stuff and, and ask God to bless it. And we haven't even gave it to the Lord. Amen. Amen. We got to have faith. We got to have some faith in this season. We have to have faith. We have to trust God. We have to believe God. And another thing, we need to take responsibilities for our own actions. We got to stop pointing the finger at everybody else. We need to take responsibility for our own actions. Amen. That's growing up to me. You know, I can point the finger at somebody else and what they did. But what about what I did? I can take, I can get a mirror and just look at myself in the mirror. That's what we need to do. Look at ourselves in the mirror. Amen. See yourself. Don't see your sister, your brother, and what they did. Talk about them. Pray about them if they're going through something. Pray for them. It's hard to pray. Pray anyway. Just call their name in prayer. Amen. It's time for the church to grow up. It's time for the church to grow up. Amen. Let's go to some of the scriptures. Numbers. I want to go there. Numbers chapter 12. Let's look at that. And I'm not going to be with you long. I just want to um I just want to give you the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And um it, we're talking about Miran and Aaron here. Amen. You know, so I just want to uh start reading and I'm going to give you the word. Amen. Then Miran and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. So they said, has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Now the, the man Moses was very humble, more than all men who were on the face of the earth. The Lord had given Moses some favor. Amen. Moses was a humble man of God. God loved Moses. God loved Miriam. God loved, he loved Aaron, amen. But for some reason, Miriam and Aaron was speaking against Moses. Amen. And they were speaking not against only against him, but against his wife. He married a black woman. And so apparently they had a problem with that. And then they had a problem with how God deals with um, Moses. And they said, does God only indeed speak to Moses? Well, yeah, of course he spoke to Moses. Moses was a head. Moses was like the pastor. Amen. So God spoke to Moses. And then it said in the scripture, God heard it. Amen. To me, Aaron and Miriam, they were acting very immature. Amen. They were acting very, very immature. And they were murmuring and complaining. And every time you turn around, they're murmuring and complaining. That's how church folk do they murmur, they complain, they complain, they murmur. Now, those that are not murmuring and complaining, amen, those are the ones that are mature in the spirit. Those are the ones that has grown up in the spirit. It's time, for, it ain't no time to give up. Ain't no time to throw in the towel and say, just forget it. I know we're in a pandemic. We're going through some stuff, but we have to stand strong in the Lord. Ain't no way I can make it every day if I didn't have God on my side in this season. I thank the Lord that I can pray to him and he give me peace in my mind, peace in my spirit, peace that surpasses all understanding. He will work things out for us. When we don't see any other way, God can work it out. Amen. Number four says, suddenly the Lord said to Moses, Aaron Miriam, come out 
you three to the tabernacle of the meeting. So the three came out. And then the Lord came down on the pillar of the crowd and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both went forward. Then he said, listen, God had to deal with them. I don't know if you've ever been dealt with by the Holy Spirit or by God or felt convicted in your spirit about something. Amen. But God dealt with them. Amen. He talked to them and he let them know that's not pleasing. So you have to watch who you put your mouth on. You have to watch what you're saying. Amen. We need to watch that. Some people will be sick in their bodies because they're not, they're, they, you know, just because, you know, because they feel in some type of way about a certain person or they, you know, things can happen. Amen. And then it goes, it goes on down, and and God, Jesus, they begin. God begin to talk to them. He said, "Hear my words. If there are prophet among you, I, the Lord myself, known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Not so with my servant Moses, because he's the leader. He is faithful in my house. I speak with him face to face, even plainly." And not in dark sand, and he say, and he sees the form of the Lord. And when they were not afraid to speak against him, uh, to speak against my servant, he said, "Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses?" Hmm. So the anger of the Lord was arose against them, and he departed. And when the cloud departed above this tabernacle, suddenly myriad became lepers as white as snow. A disease got on her. God allowed her to get sick with a disease. Because they were putting their mouth on the leadership. My Lord. They made some bad choices by speaking what their flesh was wanting them to speak. They were following and led, led in God by their flesh. Amen. They very immature. But immediately, she got sick. It says, um, suddenly Miriam came leprous as white as snow. Then Aaron turned towards Miriam, and there was a, a leper. So Aaron said to Moses, Oh, my Lord, please do not lay the sin on us in which we have done foolishly and in which we have sinned. Please do not let her be as one dead whose flesh is half consumed when he comes out of her mother's womb. 13. So Moses cried out, to the Lord, saying, please heal her, O oh God, I pray. Listen. Aaron turned to Mary, and he saw that she was leper. And Aaron said to Moses, O oh Lord, O oh my Lord, please not. He, he, he was crying out to Moses. And he didn't want her to die. He was telling Moses, please help her. And Moses, so humble and so sweet, and they had been talking about him and talking about his wife. Oh my God. So Moses cried out to the Lord and said, please heal her, oh God, I pray. And then the Lord said to Moses, if, if her father had but spit in her face, would she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out of the camp seven days, and afterward she may be received again. Amen. They shut her out of the camp for seven days. People, people say, well, you can't be putting people out of the church. Yes, you can. And they come in there disrupting the church, disturbing the church, um, a lot of strife and confusion with these people. Put them out of the camp for seven days. Tell them they can't come back. When I, 
go to church. I go to get a word. I go for praise and worship. I don't go for a bunch of mess. So when mess in the church, it's the person, ain't the church. Everybody always saying, oh, that church messy. No, it ain't the church. It's the mess, the people that's messy. And sometimes if they keep on doing stuff, you can pray them out or put them out. Bottom line. Amen. So Miriam was shut out of the camp seven days, and the people did not journey till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward, the people moved from Hazor and camped in the wilderness of Paran. Amen. So listen, I said this to say Aaron and Miriam. They've made some bad choices. And let me tell you something. God hears and he knows everything. God hears and he knows everything. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the next scripture. First Corinthians. Let me pull that up. It's time for the church to truly grow up. 1 Corinthians 13. And, you know, at the beginning of that scripture, it talks about, you know, love, the love of God. Love never fails. Amen. And if we get that type of love in our hearts, amen, we'll learn how to love each other and not tear each other down. We'll learn how to talk to each other. We'll learn how to worship with each other. We'll learn how to pray for each other. Because the Bible says, love never fails. It also says in here, you can speak in tongues, you can prophesy, but if you have not love, it's nothing to God. We have to learn how to love each other. But what I want to go on down to 10 and 11, it says, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man or a woman, man, I put away my childish thing. Amen. It's time to grow up. We're not children anymore. You've been in church too long to not have the faith of God and trust God even through what you're going through. So many people want to give up. So many people want to throw in the towel. You know, we can't do that. We got to continue to fight a good fight of faith. We got to pray. We got to praise God at home. Get in the word for yourself. Get in prayer. Connect to God at home, y'all. It's important. Especially now, you got to know how to get a connection with God without being in church. And so many, so many of us going backwards. We're going backwards. Regressing instead of progressing. Regressing instead of progressing. Time out for that. Amen. I'm trying to give you a word from God. Amen. Listen. First Corinthians, I'm going to go back in First Corinthians. Let's go to another scripture. Three, I hope you got your Bibles. Amen. And you're following me. It says, and I, brother, could not speak to you as spiritual people, because, but as to carnal, as babes in Christ. It's in the word. It talks about babies in Christ. But I'm tell I my thing is it's time for the babies to begin to grow up. Stop being carnal, stop being fleshly, stop always operating out of your flesh. Pray and seek the face of God, especially when you gotta make great decisions and choices in your life. Pray, talk to God, get in the word, amen. Oh my God. It says, I fed you with milk. And not with solid food. For until now you were not able to receive it. And even now you are still not able. So. You can't go. You know, say you got a baby. You can't put steak in a baby mouth. And expect the baby to eat it. 
Amen. Most time when babies are learning how to walk, when they are one year old and they learn how to walk, or eight months now because they grow up so fast now, and they learn how to walk at eight months to a year, most time when they learn how to walk, they walk a little bit and they fall. They walk a little bit and they fall. And then after a while, they, they conquer that thing and they start walking and running and doing everything else. When are we going to conquer this thing? In the spirit. Whining and murmuring and complaining and laying down. Let the enemy have his way in your life. Get up and fight. Get up, guys. Get up. Let's get up and fight. A good fight of faith. Don't lay down and let the enemy walk all over you. Satan is a liar. And I plead the blood over him today. Amen. Let me finish this scripture. It says, For you are still corner, for where there are envy, strife, and division among you, are you not corner and behaving like mere men? For when one says, I am Paul, and another says, I am Apollos, are you not corner? I don't want to be called corner. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious about what I do. Yes, I've made plenty of mistakes. Yes, I've fallen short of the glory of God. But I get myself up and I keep fighting and keep going. Nobody's perfect. There's no man perfect. Amen. We have to make some choices today. We have to make some choices of who we're going to serve. And when you, you say, I'm going to serve God, you serve God wholeheartedly, with all your heart, with all your might, with all your spirit. Amen. I love the scripture because it talks about us being carnal. It talks us about us, you know, being babies in Christ. It's time for the babies to grow up. You've been in church 10 to 15, 20 years and you're still a baby. It's time for you to grow up, keep the faith, stay strong in the Lord. You can't do it by yourself. Let's go to one more scripture, Joshua, and I'm going to be done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Joshua 24. Listen, you got to choose who you're going to serve. Even the word says choose. When you, you got to make right choices. You got to, you got to make, it ain't, you know, it ain't so much a right choice, but you need to make better choices. I'm going to read 15. It says, Joshua 24, 15. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, Choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river of the gods of Amorites in those lands you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Choose who you're going to serve. If you're going to serve God, you should try harder and push harder to do things of God instead of following your flesh and follow the, your, uh, your carnal mindset. My mindset cuss them out. I'm going to call and cuss them out today. I'm going to stick my finger up at them. I'm going to cuss them out. That is not the way God will handle things. It's time to do things different and, and get a different result. Some people just got evil, unclean spirits that need to be purged and cleansed of and delivered and set free. And the Bible says you can be set free whom the Son set free is free indeed. God can set you free. It's time for us to make better choices in our life decisions. You got a big decision. You need to talk to God about it and say, God, you know, I've been offered this new job. Is this what you want me to take? 
I want to follow you, Lord, not my flesh. Amen. God is an awesome God. He's an awesome God. He loves us so much. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. We give you praise. We honor you today. And Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that it's time for the church to grow up. It's time for us to grow up in the spirit, Lord. So I pray right now, God, that you will move by your spirit and move by your power. Touch everyone that's tuning in today. Uh, listen to this broadcast, Lord. I pray that you will bless them. You will keep them. And Lord, help us to pray more. Help us to seek your face more. Help us to fast, God. Help us to do things that according to your perfect will, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, say now bind and rebuke every unclean spirit, every demonic force is coming against our mind. I pray, God, that people won't give up, that they'll, they will be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I just pray, Psalms 91, God, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Lord, I pray that over our nation today. I pray that, God, over our churches and our leaders, Lord. I pray your hands of protection right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, if somebody that needs to be saved, Romans 10 and 9 says, If I confess with my mouth and I believe with my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Lord, save them, sanctify them, fill them with the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great week this week. We love you. If you need prayer, please let us know. Inbox me. Let us know. Go to kingdommovement.org. Amen. Love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.